all you sim friends out there welcome back to my channel this is darth them coming here with part two finally um just a little overview i fixed the exterior of this one trailer here i changed the color made it a little bit brighter and i added a little car park um so yeah before i get to the build I am long overdue on posting this. I just got caught up in so much stuff between still healing from my surgery and then uh, this morning actually I ventured out to the supermarket for the first time since all this madness began and oh wow what an adventure that was. <laughs> I mean for starters I, I wore gloves I didn't have a mask or anything. <clears throat> But, you know, you're supposed to keep six feet away from people at all times. Well, no one really wanted to comply with that. And people were, like, on top of me. And I tried my best to dodge everyone like Frogger. It was like, anytime someone came near me, I, like, scurried away. It was just chaos. And I just feel like people are so on edge. And it's just a weird time right now. So, that was quite an adventure today. Um, and I was, um... Other than that, um, I really got delayed too because I started watching Love is Blind on Netflix and I'm not sure if anyone out there has seen it, but it w was quite addicting. Every time I meant to get on the computer and finish this, I was like, I have to watch the next episode. I have to know what happens. I have like a crazy addiction um, to like these reality dating shows. Like I, I've been watching The Bachelor and Bachelorette ever since I was like 12 years old, so... Um, it's like a thing me and my mom do. So we sat and watched all of his blind together and it was really entertaining and very interesting actually. So sorry for the delay in this build, but we're back with part two and here you could see me <clears throat> finishing up building up the park. I, I guess like the one thing that I think frustrated, frustrated me most about this build is just like in the desert, it's kind of like very dull looking and I tried to jazz it up as much as I possibly could but I had to keep in mind like this is the desert and there isn't a lot of foliage and um, stuff to really look at other than you know some cacti, cacti and uh, sand <laughs> so um, I didn't go crazy with putting a lot of um, like grass and bushes and I just kind of tried to keep it simple because I feel like that's how it is out in the desert um, so I didn't jazz it up too much but I felt like it looked so dull so I tried to put as much stuff as I possibly could in the park um, so here I started working on the littler trailer that I mentioned I was gonna build and from a lot of the pictures that I saw of these trailers they're very like kitschy looking on the outside and the inside so i feel like with this one i really like turned up the the kitschy vibe i think that's the word right kitschy <laughs> um and so i made a lot of it pink and i followed suit with this one and the next one um as i did with the other ones matching the interior to the exterior so i made like pretty much everything pink on the inside and I kind of had some challenges with these next two trailers because I was trying to squeeze as much as I possibly could, like I said with in the last build, like all the necessities. So um, you'll see when we get on the inside. But I, I think this time I nailed down the whole non-floating situation and I think I got it pretty close to the trailer so it's not floating as much as the last one. But I did fix the last one. so. Uh, I think I'll get this up on the gallery. Um, I'm pretty happy with it for the most part. I think they came out really cute. I feel like something is missing still. I'm just not really sure what it is. Um, maybe it's the landscaping, like I said. I, I, I don't know. Um, and maybe it's the fake grass. I know there's a word for this fake grass. <laughs> I had it before and I was like, I can't. Oh, tur turf? No, turf. No. That's not right. <laughs> oh my gosh. Um, tarp. No. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> I, I'll figure it out. <clears throat> so, um, excuse me. I My throat is like 
<clears throat> I don't have the virus. I'm just, uh, my allergies are really out of control. And it's funny, <sighs> my allergies started about <clears throat> like a week and a week and a half ago, like right before my surgery. And I was in like major panic mode because I was getting a little stuffy and my throat was getting tickly. And I was like flipping out because I thought I had the virus and everyone's like you need to calm down because I'm like a hypochondriac I google everything and I webmd everything and I always think I have something so pretty much like every month I think I'm dying <laughs> it's a problem um but that's just because of my anxiety it's a little ridiculous and I I know I make it worse for myself but <laughs> anyway <clears throat> moving on so as you can see here, um, I just made the trailer just for one person. I just imagine like she probably like just travels around visiting different cities on like a country tour and this is her next stop and she decided to, you know, stop here for a little while and this is like her cute little trailer on the inside and I really wish that um, we had more retro stuff. We have like nothing and I know there's like a tiny amount from the base game because of Oasis Springs, but there really is not enough and I wish they came out with a retro uh, stuff pack or something because I'm obsessed with my retro builds and um, yeah, there's just not enough. So, but I tried to make do with what I had. I mean, you'll see in the next trailer, like I, it's not as retro-y as that's not a word. <laughs> it's not as uh, retro vibes as I wanted, but it is what it is at this point. Um, and for the bathroom here, I didn't put a sink in it because I figured there was a sink in the kitchen that I squeezed in. So it's just the shower and the toilet. Um, oh wait, maybe did I put a sink? No, I didn't put a sink. Um, I tried and I was like, this isn't gonna fit. And she's not gonna be able to get to the toilet. Um, so I just put like a little vanity uh, where she could like put her things and um, I just kept it pretty simple in the bathroom. I feel like in these trailers like that's how it is. Like it's just a toilet and the, the shower like the the bathroom is usually just the toilet and I think like a small sink kind of like an airplane bathroom and then they have like the shower like the shower head that you like you could shower over the toilet I think. <laughs> I don't know. I've I haven't been in like those smaller trailers, I've seen the really fancy ones. I I think it, I think it was at like um, the Jacob Javits Center in the city for like the car show. They might have had like a trailer that I, I don't really know. I saw a trailer somewhere. It was really beautiful, really big. I would love to take a trailer across the country and see all the states. I think that's like one of my uh, bucket list goals to just pack up my dog and just see the see the country. I've been to a good amount of states um, and I've traveled a lot in my lifetime because my mom is a travel agent, but I have not seen a lot in the US and there's a lot to see. Right now I'm, I'm kind of set on Europe and uh, next is Thailand, I think, but oh gosh, I just can't wait for all this madness to go away because I have the serious travel bug and I really miss traveling. So anyway, back to the build again. Um, these little grass squares that I still can't remember the name of, but I know once it clicks, I'm gonna be like, oh, so mad. Um, every time you try to build on top of it, they they uh, delete. So I, forever, I was trying to figure out how to get it under the house and it just kept snapping back up and it was just such a pain. So um, I don't know. I'm not like completely happy with the fake, grass I know e even though that was like a huge thing back then with the trailers and you'll see like in any like 50s trailer um, pictures you'll see that fake grass oh I should just google this right now <laughs> it's so annoying can someone just leave it in the comments I know I'm gonna remember it as soon as I'm done with this video as soon as I'm done recording this I'm gonna remember and I'm gonna be so mad at myself because I literally just was thinking about it before I started this and now I'm completely blank and this seems to happen every time I record myself talking and doing these voiceovers I just blank on everything and my brain is just like major brain farts <sighs> so um oh gosh I really just, this is gonna bother me you know you know like 
when you're trying to remember something so bad and it bothers you and you really don't want to Google it because you want to try to remember it on your own and then you just give up and and Google it. <laughs> but my phone's not near me. Oh gosh. All right. Anyway. Um, yeah. So with this one, I figured I did like every color. I did the blue. I did the pink. I did the orange. So I was like, let's try green. I don't think this one really looks that 50s, but... I'm kind of I'm pretty pleased with it like I said there's not a lot of retro stuff so my options were kind of running out I do like the little mosaic roof um, thing there I thought it came out really cute and uh, so I tried to add like some little kitschy things again and um, the little barbecue with the game table I kind of just picture like the neighbors coming over and playing games and um, you'll see when I get on to the inside I really wanted to make this one a four sim trailer home because um, there then there'd be more options uh, and I tried to like expand this but then it started looking more like a house and not like a trailer so I expanded it uh, horizontally or is that vertically <laughs> I don't know um, and then I was able to squeeze in the, the, the two beds for the kids and then the one parent bed. And um, so I with most of the, actually I think with all of them, I didn't add any doors. Because I feel like inside the trailers, there aren't any doors on the inside. You, it's just one whole room and then it's just broken up into like the bedroom and the bed. There's all, the only place there's doors are the bathrooms. And then originally I was going to add two bathrooms here. One side I was going to do just the toilet toilet, and the other side I was going to do a sink and a uh, shower. But then I thought that was kind of weird and it left like virtually no space for the kitchen area. So I got rid of that idea and I just put the bathroom where the parents room is and I just figured the kids could, you know, just hop over there. I mean, this is a trailer. I'm like putting way too much thought into this. <laughs> um, but I think this one came out pretty cute actually. And I guess I was just kind of thinking of like uh, Area 51 Roswell type vibes when I built this. Like lots of greens, alien, and um, yeah, that was kind of just like the vibe I was going for. And then obviously I couldn't fit a table on the inside, so I decided to put a picnic table on the outside. That way they had somewhere to sit and eat. And I didn't put a oven on the inside because I had the grill on the outside. So like I did with the other builds, whatever I couldn't fit inside, I... Um, put on the outside and I didn't add any electronics to any of these builds so if you download it from the gallery of course you could add whatever you want um, I just figured you know their trailers it's in the 50s uh, and there probably weren't any TVs or anything on the inside um, and I feel like back then people really socialized a lot like they didn't stay indoors like they went outside they had uh, block parties and it was just like a whole nother life back then and I really wish I could have lived back then because it just seemed like such a simpler time. But yeah, um, this room, uh, the coloring is very obnoxious, <laughs> but I felt like it looked pretty 50s like for a kid's room. And um, this here, this was the first time I have ever used the lava lamps. I like could never figure out like, how, like in what kind of like room I should ever use them in. I guess like using a lava lamp for this build is like the perfect time. Yet I kind of hate that it changes the color of the room because now it looks even more nauseating than it did before and it's like super green. And um, yeah, so um, I, I'm pretty pleased with how it came out. I, I actually don't know for the bathroom if the shower and the toilet will work because I'm assuming just like because it's it's not like the regular showers like they could just walk through that shower to the toilet I did not test play it so if you do download this obviously you can just move it around to how you want it but um, I'm actually curious to see if that works I don't know but yeah now that I'm looking at all the screen it is kind of like <laughs> like like a booger pretty gross but um like I said I feel like they're alien enthusiasts and um they're big into like Roswell stuff so that's why I did the whole uh green theme in here um 
So, yeah, I think this is actually pretty much uh, towards the end of the build. I go back on the outside and I kind of try to clutter up with some landscaping a little bit. Um, like I said, I still feel like there's something missing from this whole thing. And I think, like I said, maybe it's just very barren because it's, it's the, um, it's the desert. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty pleased though with how it came out. I think like when you look back at it all, it, it's really cute. And, uh, I'm sorry I made you guys wait so long on the part two. I apologize. I, uh... Haven't been quite myself, um, but I'm getting better and I feel really good. So I hope you all enjoyed this build and um, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you do enjoy it, like and subscribe. Uh, I'll, I'll be uh, doing a stop motion video next. I have um, some builds that I have incompleted that I plan on finishing and posting. So to everyone out there, stay safe. Stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Thanks so much.